Dad. Say hi, Dad. This may still be a bit, but at least I got my own apron. A lot of times when you go to a restaurant, you'll eat a dish and think, there is no way I could replicate this at home. It would be too hard. And none of those dishes is more stigmatized than ravioli. Things that you can normally only get at a restaurant, like uh, probably beef wellington, uh, like, I don't know, potatoes au gratin, um, anything to do with lobster. And absolutely ravioli needs to be on that list. Ravioli does sound like a lot of work. Well, I'm here to demythify you today. Mythify? <laughs> demythify. What, what? Demythify. <laughs> oh, myth. <laughs> Can I have some ravioli, please? I'm like a myth butter. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> yes. Back to the ravioli. Back to the ravioli. We're going to go ahead and make some today. They're going to be delicious and easy, and you're going to be shocked at how quickly we can get this accomplished. Easier to make than say, huh? <laughs> Okay, so to start, chop up all of my herbs. I have <laughs> fresh paste. Stop, you have to stop laughing. This is a professional show. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So the way you said chop up, it was very, you know, you, Lackey, over here, chop up. That's how I talk in the kitchen. Would you like me to chop chop? Oh, wait, we should restart that one. Okay, so we're going to start with our herbs. Go ahead and chop these up. I have fresh parsley mm -hmm. and basil. All right. And while you do that, I'm going to grab this bowl and... I am going to fill it with our ricotta. I love a ricotta ravioli. It has such a good texture and it just really, um, the flavors are really um, strong with a ricotta. And then this is my chef cheat. I love pesto a lot and so I make it a lot. However, I also buy it a lot from Costco. Shout out to Costco. So I'm gonna use their pesto. You can find it right in the refrigerated section next to the deli meats. Is that chopped up enough or more? A little bit more. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a good couple spoonfuls here. Set that off to the side. And then salt and pepper, obviously. That looks good. You can go ahead and throw those right in here. Thank you. And then your next job is, I want you to grate this Parmesan. We need quite a bit, so have fun. Great. Let's, I'll move that closer to you. Hmm, let me try this. There you, go. there you go. It's okay if something spills off the bowl, we can scoop it up. All right, I was trying to be neat with it. The Parmesan is gonna add a nice saltiness. Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And now we're gonna stir it up. Oh, yum. Now that's what goes inside the ravioli? This is what's gonna go inside. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be beautiful and creamy. See, I like, I like cheese inside my ravioli. Oh, yeah. I, I think a lot of people like, like, like they can do mushrooms or- You can do you mushrooms. You can do pate, I guess, or you some can do, types of meat. Um, I really like to do pureed butternut squash inside ravioli. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah. Okay, this is perfect. So now we just need to roll out our pasta and we'll start filling. Oh. If you want to learn how to make your own fresh pasta, refer back to our fresh pasta episode. We're going to roll it out here and it's going to be absolutely perfect. All right, so we've made our dough mm -hmm. and now we're going to roll it out. Uh, just like we did in the pasta dough episode, we're just going to get it started with mm -hmm. the rolling pin. Okay. And you just want it thin enough that it will go through the sheeter without bunching or tearing. Okay. All right, you can take that and put it away. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little flour because it's a little sticky. Okay, go ahead. All right, here we go. And I start this on seven again on the highest, on the thickest setting, and we're gonna work our way down to a three. It's gonna be thinner than the spaghetti was, and we do that because we're gonna double it up after it's filled, and you don't want it to be like super thick and chewy. We need to readjust that. Oh, we do. Thank you. <laughs> Good catch. All right, there we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, this looks really good. Yeah. I'm just surprised how that stays together. It just does. A miracle of nature. Gluten. <laughs> Gluten. Nature's miracle. All right. Here we go. And you can do some really fun stuff at the sheeting stage. You could put herbs on your pasta right now mm -hmm. and send them through, and it would make kind of a flower pattern on your 
Pasta dough. Cheaters never prosper. <laughs> it's another dad lesson. It's another dad joke. Ready? <laughs> oh, sorry. It's gonna be a lot of pasta. Oh yeah. Uh oh. You don't want that to happen. It's okay, just keep going. It happened. Actually, that worked out in our favor. Yeah, okay. And once more. Once more. Okay. Long spaghetti. Here we go. So for ravioli, what, what, you do what, want what? it in a long sheet to start with. La, 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 um, la, la. Because mm. you're going to fold it over and cut out your raviolis from that, mm. and it's just easier if it's in one nice That's sheet. very interesting. La, 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 la. <laughs> you seem thrilled. <laughs> oh, I am. Okay. Learning so much today. La, 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 la. There we go. All right. Okay. Now we're going to lay this out and begin filling. Next, we step on the grapes with our feet. <laughs> Beautiful. And now we're going to grab our filling that we made earlier. Mmm. Spoons. Oh, I want to eat this just by itself. Well, you could, but it would be sad. Okay. Here you go. Two spoons. Yep. Two spoons. You're going to take a little bit of the filling, not a lot, mm -hmm. and you're going to, we'll start in the middle here. You're going to just do a little dollop and space them out about an, a little more than an okay, inch right apart. There. You're right there? Yeah. So you're making like a little sleeping bag for the pasta. Oh, just fold it right over and then crimp it a little bit. I like to go between and kind of differentiate them just with a little press of my finger. And you don't have to do it super hard because um, the cutter is going to do that for us. This is super cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then, this is the fun part. You take your ravioli cutter, place it over your little pouch, kind of center it. Now, a ravioli cutter, where would you get one of those? That seems like a specialty item to me. Yeah, so I got mine at uh, just a cooking goods store. You can get it at any cooking goods store. Um, if you don't have one, you can just cut these with a knife. Okay, and so if you're a with dad, you're just yeah. a dad. Yeah, you're just going to you take a knife one of those, and cut the You're just going to cut them in. Would you take a fork and make the fancy edge? or You could, yeah. Or you could just leave it without a fancy to edge. To me, the ravioli is all about the fancy, the fancy edge. edge. Yeah, so the fork definitely will yeah. give you that edge that you're looking yeah, okay. for. Right. So again, just right over the pouch and then nice but, and firm. Yeah, that's super easy. All right. Go ahead. Got it. All right, here we go. Now, okay, so let's say you make a whole bunch of these like we're making now. Could you freeze them yes. for later? Absolutely. Okay. Chuck them in the freezer and have them whenever your first Just put them in a gallon, gallon bag and would yes. you flour them a little bit so they didn't stick? Or I what? would. Okay. See how good I'm getting at this? You're a good teacher. Thank you. I really stuck a little bit. Not a good cutter. Oops. You can see where I started because I didn't cut them all properly. Yeah, I had to give them kind of a little twist to get them. There we go. Voila. All right. Now, we'll have a couple could ones. you run this through again and make more? You or can't. No, no okay. at this point it's been overworked and it would just mm. get tough and kind of okay, well, ugly looking. Important safety tip, I'm glad I asked. Because yep. I, I, as thinking like a dad, I probably thought, you know, I'll just run it through again. So now we're going to okay. boil these for two to three minutes, and mm -hmm. then we're going to toss them in some pesto. 23 and eat minutes? Them for Seems like a long time. Two to three. <laughs> toss it in some pesto, and that will be our lunch. We'll be right back. So we're going to 
gonna just put our raviolis right into the bowl. Mm, boy, they look good. Yeah. Okay. Get that out of the way. And then we're gonna just drizzle some of that pesto that we used inside mm -hmm. on the top as the sauce. And you can grate some cheese over top. Okay, here we go. You could also add cherry tomatoes to this, or bacon, or grilled chicken would be really mm. good with it. All right, perfect. And now all that's left to do is taste. Okay, let's get it. I'll give you again the small fork. Oh, I think you are. All right. I'll take a little bite here. I'm gonna take a hole in here. Make sure I get some pesto. Ooh. Ready? Mmm. 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 Oh, the pasta texture mm. is so nice. And the filling is so creamy. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's like a taste explosion in your mouth. And having the pesto mm. as the sauce really reinforces mm -hmm. the flavor inside the ravioli, which yep. I love. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm glad you like it. Mmm. And see, that wasn't mm -hmm. so hard. Mm -mm. All right, well, tune in next week. We'll have a new episode of Cooking with Dad on Tuesdays. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment with what you want us to make. Until next time, I'm Chef M. This is Dad. Say goodbye, Dad. That was a lot of work for a small plate of ravioli, but oh my word, was it worth it. Goodbye, Dad. So, little trade secret is that a lot of restaurants will use frozen raviolis. They take a lot of time to make. You have to make the pasta, let it rest, roll it out, make your filling, the whole nine yards. Um, but the benefit is that you get to control what goes in it and you get to make it flavors exactly what you want.